What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I had another great day on the water today and I'm going to share with you the lures that I used and the rod and reel setups that I used to catch the fish that I caught today. I didn't really catch too many of them uh, out by themselves. Most of them were in schools. Uh, very first thing early in the morning when it was still dark out, I don't know how good the camera got it, on the Tekel Blade Waker with a Kitek 3.8 Kitek on the back. I got a Michigan Angler rock bass and then of course on the Whopper Plopper I caught a uh, decent little smallmouth. Then I got on a Ned Rig bite and a little school. Uh, it happened really quick. It was just bang, 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 fish after fish after fish. And then I almost got hit by a boat. I don't know how this guy didn't see me or if he saw me and just didn't care and decided to just come within 10 foot of my boat. Uh, but I was catching those on the Ned Rig and the color I was using was the Hot Craw. It's like a red and black. And I'm throwing that on a seven foot six Daiwa Tatula Elite. Uh, it says it's a hair jig or Nico jig with a Tatula LT 2000 with six pound fluorocarbon. So this is a real ultralight setup. Uh, if you fish far, you can feel it, man. But uh, this thing was working good today and I caught some absolute hogs. I got a three pounder on there down in the weeds. Thought it was gonna snap me off, but uh, good fight. Then I uh, caught one on the deep diving crankbait as well, just a little one. Uh, but my deep diving crankbait setup, I just have a seven foot medium heavy, and it's not even a medium heavy, it's a medium, uh, just a Dracone Daiwa with the corked handle. And then I got a Daiwa TWS Tatula 150p 5.5 gear ratio <clears throat> and I have 12 pound fluorocarbon on here and a Mega Bass 300 deep diving XD. It gets down to about 20 foot and the reason I have a slower reel is because it's a lot less wear and tear on the shoulder. Uh, the slower gear ratio the more torque it's got. So that's why I throw that one. And then uh, last but not least, uh, the Whopper Plopper 75. I'm sure everybody knows what that is in the bone color right there. <clears throat> I throw that on a Daiwa, just a basic Daiwa $50. I forget what this is called, Air XD Heavy 7 foot with a Daiwa Tatula CT 8.1 gear ratio along with 50 pound braid. I don't have to worry about uh, my lure snapping off if I get backlash or anything like that. And the second school, which was the ma most amazing part of this video, is uh, bait balls. I almost hooked myself. Got on a couple bait balls uh, early in the morning. Uh, that's where shad just, or minnows are just being pushed to the top of the water by the bass. And you could throw that whopper plopper right in that pocket and they will nail it. All smallmouth, um, missed a couple. Caught a couple big ones, didn't last too long, but I think I got about four out of there, maybe just three. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Tons of action in here. Please click the subscribe button, click the like button. Good luck out there fishing, and we'll see you next time. All right, we're on the board. Uh, I know rock bass are pretty lame, but uh, that is a almost 12 inch rock bass. So that is a uh, Michigan Angler Award right there. So. Got the picture of that. We will go ahead and send that in and uh, get our little patch. Got a jumper. Alright. Nice small mouth to start the day. He put up a real good fight. Got this light line, but it feels good. Oh yeah. Just in the weeds. Oh, 
be some home though. So that's one on the Ned rig. It's so fun fighting them with this light gear, even if they are small. And that one's actually decent. There's a decent one. That's three in a row on the Ned rig. Just gonna camp here till they stop hitting. It's hard to leave a spot when they're biting like that, even if they are littler. And he's coming through weeds. What do we got here? Nice one. Hey, he's a good one. <laughs> Trying to get me down them weeds. Be all tired out, buddy. That's a good one. Alright, another one on the Ned rig, and this one's got some size to it. That's a real good one. Put up a good fight, especially on this ultralight tackle. It's dragging me through the weeds and everything. Uh, still all in the same spot. They're just hitting one after the other. Another one. This one feels good too. <laughs> Unreal. Ah, oh, he's a little guy. Man, it's just automatic. There must be a whole school of them right over here. Got in the right spot. I almost left too. Almost left. This one's little. Little. I think he's just in them weeds. Oh, he's decent. He's about as big as that bigger one I got earlier. That one like a pro. <laughs> All right. Another good size one. Ned Rick is just killing it right here. It's like a feeding frenzy. Right spot, right time, I guess. there buddy
scare me down. I'm gonna eat. I don't want to break my line. Get over here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good one. Another fat one on the Ned Rig. Man, that's a real good one. Big one on the Ned Rig. Good fight on that ultralight gear. seeing shad busting all over here and sometimes you can get them with uh, the whopper plopper and the Ned rig if you can cast right into the boiling spot where you see the water starting to boil up so we'll see if we can pull a couple out of here before it gets too windy Got him. Nice. And that's how it works. Now oh, that's a big smallmouth too. That's a nice smallmouth. Hit that top water. Worked out just as I planned. Nice chunky one. They're jump still jumping right by the boat. Let me See if I can get another one. Hey, okay, thanks. <laughs> Another big small mouth. Man, this one's even feels bigger than the other one. Oh, this one's a largey, I think. He hit that thing hard. Nope, another small mouth. Oh, it's got followers. Yeah, these things hunt like velociraptors. They come in packs. And uh they push all these minnows into these big old bait balls and they push them to the top of the water and you throw that whopper popper in there man it's money it is money the other one was actually a lot bigger but this one had a hell of a fight in it too yeah we got good activity right here right there They're just jumping everywhere. These are all good size. And another one. 